Hi, it's Robert Stelic with Blue Planet Surf. Today I'm super excited to introduce our new Easy Foiler Foil. It's been over a year in development, and so I'm excited to finally get it to market. It's going to be available at our shops in, in just a couple weeks. So let's talk a little bit about the, the design and the foil itself. Okay, so we've been working on this foil for over a year. Uh, you know, for the first part was just designing it on, and, and I tried to design it myself using computer shaping, um, you know, the board shaping program, CAD program, but <coughs> it was impossible to get everything right. So I hired an aeronautical engineer to do the CAD drawings and help with the um, exact foiling of the foil, f making everything fit together really well. So it's a very technical process with all the angles of incidence, uh, angles of attack of the foils. So. But um, we, we got the design figured out and then we had a prototype made. This was our first prototype. It's made out of G10 um, fiberglass. So it's the same material they use for fins, you know, so it's like a block of heavy fiberglass. This thing weighs, like, weighs a ton, it's a brick. But, um, you know, and then it has aluminum mass and fuselage. So I tested it. I thought it would be really way too heavy to work well, but then it actually worked really nice. I got you know, I was able to ride it really well. This one has an upturned wing in the back. So it's a little bit different. We did make some changes. We changed the proportions a little bit. Uh, we changed the tail wing to angle downward a little bit or f follow the f um, shape of the front wing. That way, when you're turning, this one I found it comes out of the water a little bit sooner because in a turn, the tip sticking out can, can kind of breach the water surface a little bit earlier. So the, on the original foil, we used an aluminum fuselage and mast, uh, and which is inexpensive and fairly strong. And the weight wasn't so much of an issue. But what I found after using it for a while, the, the mast bent a little bit. And then once aluminum bends, you can't bend it back. So basically, you have to replace it. And then um, you know that becomes kind of a hassle for customers, too, if you have to keep replacing your mast. Also, um, it's dissimilar metals, if you screw it, um, stainless steel into aluminum, it can seize up fairly easily, which happened on my foil as well. So kind of got frustrated with the aluminum. So even though it's more expensive, uh, we went for full carbon construction in, in our foil. So, so this is the easy foiler. We changed the dimensions a little bit. This is uh, 1440 square centimeters. 1440 square centimeters is the surface area. That's what we use to measure our, the size of our foils. And then um, this is the tail wing. We're gonna have three different sizes available for the front wing. Uh, and then we have three different sizes for the tail, wi tail wings. And they all fit on the same fuselage and mast um, if you buy the set. They also come with a cover. So it comes with a nylon cover that's easy to put on and off. And, um, and so it's a real nice package. You can choose either a tuttle head or a plate mount head. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the designs, uh, what went into this foil and, and wh what's behind the design ideas here. So um, first of all, the foil is quite thick. It has a ro really rounded front edge. It's uh, really thick. In the middle, it's uh, over two and a half inches thick. And, um, and then it's, it's kind of hard to see here, but um, it has a dihedral kind of uh, like, uh, it's equivalent to a dihedral on a paddle. So it has kind of a high point in the middle here. And uh, I find that that helps keep the foil flying a little bit more steady instead of being like wishy-washy going wanting to go side to side it kind of directs the water it's kind of like a double concave on a board or uh, whatever you want to compare to it. it it helps the board fly fly level and you know basically the idea behind this foil is to make a high performance foil that's also very easy to ride and easy to learn on because you know a lot of people are s just starting out so this foil was designed to make it as accessible as possible to learn quickly and improve quickly so it's um, the foil, the middle part of the foil is fairly flat. So that gives you a lot of stability in the water. And then the wings are slightly downturned, which gives you some directional stability and also makes it a little bit easier to initiate and turn the foil. So, but over overall, it doesn't have a lot of curve. Um, a foil with more curve with will be a little bit more carvy, but it'll also have a little bit less stability. So we went for, th this one's our uh, easy to use foil. Um, Probably in the future, we'll, we'll make a more high performance one as well. But this one is a really, really good one if you're starting out. And it still turns really nice. And you can, <coughs> you can also modify by changing the back wing, making it more maneuverable or more stable. Like basically, a bigger back wing will make the foil fly a little bit more easily. It'll uh, create more lift for the foil. 
and then also be, make this flow a little bit more stable. So then as you can see, the back wing has a similar curve to the front wing, which is just keeps it from breaching if you're turning the foil. So one more advantage of the, th the thick foil is that it kind of controls your speed a little bit. If you have a really thin uh, foil, it's, uh, it, it has less drag and has, uh, can go high s at high speeds, but then it becomes very difficult to control. This one, because it has kind of a real rounded and soft, uh, thicker foil, it's less sensitive to the angle of attack and, and it's more forgiving. And also the thicker foil um, has a little bit more drag, so it actually controls your speed. So it's a little bit easier to control your speed and keep the foil underwater. As soon as the foil comes out of the water, it'll breach and you crash. So it's real important to always keep that foil underwater and that thicker foil makes it a lot easier to control it. So let's get a little bit into the construction. One thing that I found that's really important on a foil is the stiffness and rigidity. So if you imagine the foil, basically you're, s w you're standing on this mass on top of the board and this whole thing supports your weight basically. So it's real important that the, the front wing is real stiff. It basically all your weight is carried by the front wing when you're standing on top of it. And then so that your weight is transferred from, from your body through the board, through the mass to the front wing. So this connection here has to be really stiff and strong. If you're thinking, it's kind of like, I've heard it being compared to riding a unicycle on the water. So if you can imagine a unicycle that's nice and rigid, it's going to be a lot easier to control than a really soft, flexible, bendy uh, unicycle where the, where you know, this basically gives you a stiff connection to the between the board and the foil. So that's really important that the all parts t uh, fit together very tightly. There's no wiggle room and then uh, everything's very rigid and, and strong. Um, yeah, so the, the rigidity and the strength is something I've been working on with the factory. We went through several iterations of prototypes and different layups to make it as strong as possible. So our foil is a full carbon layup. Um, it's fairly lightweight for how strong it is. Um, th this one weighs about 3.8 kilograms, which is just over 8 pounds. So it's fairly lightweight, but we also we're really focused about the strength. So it has about 11 layers of carbon. Uh, especially reinforced on the leading edges, the tips, and the bottom. Um, and then also we made sure it's very rigid and, and all the connections are very strong and reinforced. So uh, we, you know, it's not just about making it super light, but the, the more important thing to us was also making a strong, durable foil. Okay, so we're going to have the front wings available in three different sizes. Right now we only have the 1440, which is the um, square centimeter surface area of the foil. We're also going to have a 1750, a bigger size, and a 1240. So we're going to have three different sizes available as of May. Right now we only have the 1440 coming in. We also have three different tail wings that can go with the front wings. And you can mix and match them. Uh, I recommend using a smaller wing if you want to ride the foil at higher speeds. It's not going to have quite as much lift with a smaller wing. Uh, but it'll be a little bit easier to control at higher speeds because it doesn't l lift the foil out of the water as much as you speed up. A bigger foil will have more lift at lower speeds and it makes the foil kind of fly almost by itself we, with less input. It's also more stable so when you're starting out it might be good to try the bigger wing and um, to the bigger tail wing to help you with stability and um, easier lift out of the water but you do have to keep a little bit more front foot pressure as you accelerate. Let's talk a little bit about the mass. So our mass is currently 26 inches long. We're also going to have an option uh, for a 20 inch mast, which um, is nice if you're a beginner. Having a shorter mast basically means that you don't crash as from as high up. It makes it a little bit easier to learn on. Uh, it's also a good foil to have um, in shallower waters if you're surfing a, a break that where it gets shallow. It's good to have that 20 inch mast. Uh, we're also going to have a high performance longer mast. I'm not sure exactly the length it's but probably about around 36 inches. So it's going to be a longer mass and that that's kind of more for um you know more e expert riders that want to basically be able to pump as much as possible, speed up, do more carving turns and so on without having the foil breach as easily. But you have to make sure that the water's deep enough for that 36 inch mass also that um you know the that you you have good control of the foil because the higher the longer the mass the worse the wipeouts are from you know the f higher up you are the worse you're going to crash when you come do come down so in terms of riding this foil um, i've been using this foil for uh, quite a while now you know went through the different prototypes 
I really like the way it uh, you know has a smooth amount of lift. It's easy to control. The it doesn't just want to come out of the water and breach as easily. It's a little bit easier to control how high it flies in the water. It's stable, and then w when you're ready to turn, it also it's nice to initiate carving turns with it. So uh, it's real real flexible. Um, a great great foil to learn on. Uh, maybe not the high most high performance foil on the market, but um, but that's not really necessarily what you need when you're starting out. You want something that's predictable, easy to use, and, uh, and surfs well. So just going to talk a little bit about the size of the foil. So, you know, having different size foils is kind of having, having a quiver of boards, you know. And the nice thing is that you can use one board and have three different foils, and it's like you have a quiver of foil gear. And basically it depends on what you want to use it for, the conditions, and so on. So y generally speaking, a lighter weight rider will need a smaller foil because you have less, you need less surface area of the foil to lift you out of the water. And you know, if the foil is too big, it makes it harder to control for a smaller person. The other uh, case where you need a smaller foil is uh, if you go fast on bigger waves, steep waves, fast moving waves, you need a smaller foil to be able to control it because the bigger foil will create too much lift and you're just gonna fly out of the water. So this one for me, I'm like 195. Uh, it's a real nice size to use in the surf, medium um, size surf, you know, up to head high. I wouldn't use it in really big surf, but for me, especially in smaller surf, this is great. In really small waves or in downwinders, I would use the bigger size, the 1750. But in, in surf, this is a nice average size. For a lighter weight rider, maybe try to go to one size down to 1240. Um, basically, when you're foiling, learning is best in easy waves that are just real slopey. We call them like the bunny slopes. You're looking for the bunny slopes. You want to get on that bunny slope that is going to gently push you along, and that's where you can fly the easiest and control the control your speed and control your height the easiest. Our easy foilers are a great value. I think you know you're getting a lot for the money. Really well designed, good construction, and so on. Uh, for pricing information, check the link below at blueplanetsurf.com. Um, we do have a special offer if you buy a foil and a board together, you get basically $200 off the package price. So if you're buying it as a set. Um, in May 2018, we're going to have the boards and the foils available, the three size foils. You can buy sets of different wings. Uh, if you're buying it all together, you get $200 off the total, which is a really nice deal. If you already bought one of our easy foiler boards, we'll give you that same deal on the foils. Uh, we only have a limited amount of foils coming in in mid-February of this 1440 size. So if you're interested in getting one, call our shop, 808-596-7755, and get on the list. All right, thanks for watching. Aloha.